she's beautiful, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Austin Living Good. I'm Becca Living Good. Sister. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Found her on Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> so we got married in 2014 and we both came into it $24,000, in debt. And I was yeah. just, I was a childcare worker. Childcare. I'm working at a warehouse. Yeah. You know, so not too much coming in. Right. I mean, you know, doing doing what we got to do. You buy a house. We managed to do that. And then almost a year to the day later, we uh, we had our first child. I mean, growing up, I've always wanted to stay at home with my kids, and you know, meeting Austin, and I was like, you know, this is something I want to do when we have kids. You know, and we both decided. We did want that to happen. Yeah. And I don't know how I'm going to do that. We'll make it work. We're going to figure it out. A couple of years went by. We had our first child and, you know, you have family vacations that you get asked to do and Christmases are going by and it's just like, where's our money going? Or we have to pick up all these extra jobs just to provide Christmas gifts. Like, this is so dumb. I think we were just more frustrated at the lack of discipline, you know, and the lack of hustle maybe. After Christmas 2018, we go into January and we're like, this is it. Like. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. We are like keeping our heads down and we're just going. We had to talk about money. You know, we had right. to put it on paper and right. sit That's down and have hard conversations about yes. money. There's a weight, I think, mm -hmm. that came off of our yeah. marriage quite a bit. We realized all of our money is going to the debts that we have. It's going towards things that we don't need. We're making minimum payments on everything and still barely getting by. So like, right. what needs to change? We lay out a spending plan, right? We decide, hey, whatever subscriptions we have, throw them out. We're, we're not gonna go out to dinners unless you wanna foot the bill. <laughs> we chose, uh, you know, staying at home and making pastaroni. Not, I mean, nothing was really off limits. You know, I ran sound for a cover band a couple times. I think that year I did, what, six weddings? I was the wedding singer. Heck, if it was like helping my dad out with one of his properties, I'm open to it. I would watch kids in my home since I was already there. Right. And so even if it's for an hour or two hours, I'm like, sure, right. I can do it. I right. mean, I busted my butt. I would take on extra days, even on weekends, because I'm thinking as a stay-at-home mom, what can I do? Oh, I could make a meal plan and go right. to the store and stick to it. And you just put your head down and just keep going. I don't know when it's going to end, but don't pretend it's not going to. This is what we have to do for our family right now. So that in the future, our kids don't have to be in debt to our debt. You know what I mean? From a year of grinding and hard work and discipline building came the year of what should have been utter chaos, but became the massive year of blessing for our family. Like, I think for sure I'm gonna get furloughed. Well, the blessings kick off <laughs> in, in February. We found out where Becca, Becca's pregnant with our third child. People were offering to do stuff, like out of the ordinary things. So I'm like yes. blessing us while we were doing it. And so- Our roof was replaced. Right. Crazy. They roll out stimulus checks and then our tax refund, uh, we did it late. So all that money came in late and we realized, oh my gosh, we have enough money to conquer our debt. Like- Just one lump sum. One lump sum, like didn't even see that coming. We were just like, like we're gonna be consumer debt free, which is unbelievable. We now have about six months expenses saved in the bank. I was able to start contributing about 15% of my income to retirement. Throughout, we were just we just kept giving, you know. We weren't doing anything above and beyond like we would have liked, right. but we just kept at it. We still don't make a ton of money, but we've, we've managed it and mm -hmm. we know where it's going, we know what's coming in, and we know what we can do with it. And we plan on, you know, would like to increase giving and bless others just like we wanted to from the, from the start. Yeah. But yeah, it's definitely stress-free. Man, we are on a much different trajectory than we were even a year ago. Like, it's crazy. The blessing, I think, came from just us being obedient, just saying yes, just being like, it's not our money. It's coming from a different bank account, you know? <laughs>